Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to our today's class. It's our fifth lesson on a given form 2 mathematics topic called linear motion. So we are looking at our example number 5 which reads that a country bus left Nairobi at 10.45 am and traveled towards Mombasa at an average speed of 60 kilometers per hour. Then Amatatu left Nairobi at 1.15 pm on the same day and traveled along the same road at an average speed of 100 kilometers per hour. So the first thing you are going to uh, obtain the key information uh, provided uh, on the question. Uh, therefore, let me uh, indicate it this way. So the first thing you need to identify whether the vehicles are moving in the same direction or the opposite direction. So we have two towns. One town is um, Nairobi. So we have uh, Nairobi here. Then the other town is uh, Mombasa. So we are told that a country bus left Nairobi at 10.45 a.m. So we have uh, a country bus here. So this is our bus. Uh, it left Nairobi at 10.45 10.45 uh, a.m. And traveled towards Mombasa at an average speed of 60 kilometers per hour. So this is 60 uh, kilometers per hour. Then Amatatu left Nairobi. So Amatatu is also leaving Nairobi. So they are both moving towards uh, Mombasa. So this is our Matatu. Uh, Amatatu um, left Nairobi. Uh, left Nairobi at 1.15 p.m. So this is uh, 1.15 uh, p.m. On the same day and travel along the same road at an average speed of 100. So the speed is 100 uh, kilometers per hour. Then the distance between Nairobi and Mombasa is 500. So the total distance is 500 uh, kilometers. Then part A of the question we are told to determine at uh, the time of the day uh, when the Matatu overtook the bus. The time of the day when the Matatu overtook the bus. So I'm going to assume that the distance that was traveled uh, before they overtook each other was x. So I'm going to let uh, the distance from Nairobi to the overtaking point to be x kilometers. So that I'm going to find the two equations uh, for the time uh, then I equate. That is for the time when they arrived at the meeting point, then I simply equate the two. So let me start with the, uh, I can start with the bus. So the time, the time when the bus, the time when the bus arrived, arrived at the overtaking point, at the overtaking uh, point, overtaking point, will be given by, remember arrival time is departure time plus time taken on the road. So uh, our bus departed its journey at 10.45. So into hours, this will be 10 uh, plus, I'll convert the 45 minutes into hours. So it will be 45 uh, divided by 60. Because we know that 60 minutes is equal to uh, one hour. Then of course it is also in 24 o'clock system. Then I'm going to add, the time that the bus took on the road before it arrived at the meeting point, remember time is given by distance over speed. Therefore, I'm going to use the distance from Nairobi to the meeting point of the bus, which is actually uh, x, then divided by the speed of the bus was 60 kilometers per hour. Then I'm also going to find the equation for the time, the time when now the Matatu, the time when the Matatu uh, arrived uh, arrived at the overtaking point at the overtaking uh, point overtaking point uh, it will be given by so arrival time is departure time plus time taken on the road so the matatu departed at 1 15 pm so remember whenever you are adding time we always convert it into 24 o'clock system so 1 15 uh, pm into 24 o'clock system uh, 1 pm is actually 13 huh? so this will be 13 uh, 13 15 hours which can be written as 13 plus i convert the 15 minutes into hours so that will be 15 over 60 then i'm going to add the time that uh, the bus took on the road before it arrived at the meeting point remember they are moving in the same direction and they are all departing from nairobi towards mombasa therefore similarly the matatu from nairobi it will cover a distance of x before it arrives at the meeting point so time is distance over speed so the distance to the meeting point is x divided by the speed of the matatu was 100 uh, kilometers per hour 
Then there is one fact that we know at the meeting point, the clocks of these two uh, drivers should be reading uh, the same time. So we are going to say that at the meeting point, uh, at the meeting point, at the meeting point, their clocks should be reading uh, equal time. Therefore, at the meeting point, I'm going to equate this equation and this other equation here. So at the meeting point, 10 plus uh, 45 over 60, uh, then plus uh, x over 60 must be equal to 13 plus 15 over 60, then uh, plus uh, 13, uh, that is uh, 15 over 60, then plus uh, x divided by 100. So the easiest way of solving this is to multiply through with the LCM. So the LCM will be, I think, 300. So the LCM will be 300. So I'm going to multiply through by 300, which is the LCM. So by 300, by 300, by 300, by 300, by 300, by 300. So if I take 10 multiplied by 300, I'm going to get 3,000. So this will be uh, 3,000. Then plus, uh, if I take 45, so 45, uh, 45 divided by 60, then multiplied by uh, 300, I'm going to get 225. So this will give me uh, 225. So this will be 225. Then plus 300, 300 divided by 60, I'm going to get a positive 5x. So this one will go here uh, five times. So this one will be 5x, then is equals to uh, 13 multiplied by 300. I'm going to get uh, 3,900. So this will be 13 by 300, I'll get 3,900. Uh, then plus uh, 15. So if I take um, 15, 15 divided by 60, then multiplied by 15 over 60 multiplied by 300, I'm going to get 75. So this will be uh, 75, uh, 75, then plus, of course, two zeros will cancel out, then plus 3x. On collecting the like terms, I'm going to have um, 5x minus 3x. Uh, so I've dealt with uh, this one and this one here uh, should be equal to 5x minus 3x should be equal to 39 Hundred. I've dealt with this, then plus 75. I've also dealt with this, then minus 225. Uh, that is minus 225, then minus 3,000. Minus 3,000. So this will give me uh, 2x being equal to 3,900, then added to 75, then minus 225, then minus 3,000. I'm going to get 750. So this will be 750. Then divided by 2, divided by 2, the value of x will be equal to 750 divided by 2. I'm going to get 375. So 375. So remember, x was representing the distance from Nairobi to the meeting point. Huh? So this is 375 uh, kilometers. Then you are asked to find the determine the time uh, when the Matatu overtook the bus. So I can use the equation for uh, the bus. I can as well use the equation for Matatu, but the answers will be the same. So let me work with the equation for the Matatu. So overtaking time, uh, overtaking time, overtaking time uh, will be given by, I'll simply substitute x in this equation. So it will be 13, then plus uh, 15 over 60, then plus my x is 375, 375 then divided by 100. So this will give me uh, 13 plus uh, 15 over 60, plus 15 over 60, then added to uh, 375, 375 divided by 100. So this will give me uh, 17 hours. So this will be 17 hours. So I'm, go I'm going to get 17, 0, 0 hours, which is actually five, 0, 0 p.m. 500 p.m. So that is the time that these two met. 
so they are going to meet at 5 uh, 0, 0, uh, pm remember if you also use this equation if you substitute here 375 uh, let me check 10 plus um, 10 plus 45 over 60 then we add uh, x over 60 but our x is a uh, 375 then divided by 375 divided by 60 i'm also getting 17 hours so it doesn't matter whether you substitute in this equation or the second equation the answer should be the same so we have also found that the value of x is uh, 375 so this is 375 so it means the remaining distance on this side will be 500 minus 375 so 500 minus 375 you are going to get 125 so the remaining distance here is 125 uh, kilometers so that is the solution for our first part which is uh, part a so we can move to part b and also see how we can uh, deal with it so in part b we are told that in part b we are told that um uh, both vehicles continue uh, towards Mombasa at their original speeds. Find how long the Matatu had to wait in Mombasa before the bus arrived. So we are going to find the equation for the time. Uh, the time when we can start with the... Uh, we can actually start with uh, the bus. The time when the bus arrived in Mombasa. Arrived in Mombasa will be given by... Uh, arrival time is equals to uh, departure time plus time taken on the road. So the bus departed at 10.45, uh, which is 10 plus 45 over 60 to convert the 45 minutes into hours. Plus time taken by the bus on the road from Nairobi to the Mombasa, time is distance over speed. Uh. So distance from Nairobi to Mombasa was 500 uh, kilometers divided by the speed of the bus was 60 kilometers per hour. So this is going to give us 10 plus uh, 10 plus uh, 45 over 60. Uh, then I'm going to add uh, 500 over 60. So plus uh, 500 over 60. 500 over 60. I'm going to get 19.083333. Uh, so if I convert into uh, time, I'm going to get... Uh, let me put it in, in terms of um, uh, improper fraction. So this will be 19. Then we have some recurring decimals there. If I convert into hours, I'm going to get, let me see, 10 plus, um, 10 plus 45 over 60. Then I'm going to add uh, 500 plus uh, 500 divided by 60. I'm going to get um, 229 over 12. So this one will give me 229 over 12 hours. 229 over 12 hours. So this is the time when uh, the bus arrived in Mombasa. Of which, if you convert this into in terms of hours and minutes, uh, this one will give you uh, 19 hours, nine, which can be written as 19 1 over 12. If you convert 1 over 12 into hours, you are going to have 19, then uh, plus 1 over 12, of course, to convert into hours, you multiply by uh, 60. Let me write it on the other side. So this is uh, 19 plus 19 whole number, 1 over 12, which is the same as saying 19. Then you are going to, I'm going to convert 1 over 12 into uh, minutes. So this is 1 over 12 multiplied by 60. So this is going to give us, uh, this is going to give us 19 hours, uh, 19 hours. If you take 60 divided by 12, you are going to get 5 minutes. Huh? So this is 19 hours, 5 uh, minutes. So this is the time that um, the bus arrived in Mombasa. Then you also find an equation for the time, the time when the Matatu, the time when the Matatu, arrived in Mombasa arrived in Mombasa uh, in Mombasa so that time will be equivalent to uh, the starting time plus time taken on the road Matatu started its journey at 1 15 p.m. in 24 o'clock system that is 13 plus 15 minutes into hours it will be over 60 then plus 
time taken by the matatu from Nairobi to Mombasa time is distance over speed the distance from Nairobi to Mombasa is 500 kilometers divided by the speed of the matatu was 100 kilometers per hour so if you compute this it will be 13 then plus uh, 15 over 60 uh, then we are going to add 15 over 60 uh, then plus uh, 500 over 100 so this is going to give me uh, 18 and a quarter so this is uh, 18 hours and a quarter if i convert the a quarter into minutes i'm going to have 18 plus a quarter multiplied by 60 which is going to give me uh, 18 uh, uh, so uh, 60 by by 4 i'm going to get 15 huh? so this is 18 hours uh, 15 minutes 18 hours 15 minutes therefore this is the time that uh, the matatu arrived in mombasa but the question wants uh, find how long the matatu had to wait in mombasa before the bus arrived so waiting time will be given by uh, waiting time we are going to subtract the two uh, times in 24 clock system so we'll take uh, 19 uh, 0, 05 minutes then we subtract 18 uh, 15 minutes so if you subtract these two i'm going to borrow one hour so that i remain with 18 uh, the one hour i add to five minutes i'm going to have 60 plus 5 that will be uh, 65 so if you take 65 minus 15 you're going to get uh, 50 uh, minutes so this is 50 then this is zero hours uh, 50 minutes so they, therefore it means that uh, find how long the matatu had to wait in mombasa before the bus arrived so the matatu matatu uh, had to wait had to wait uh, for had to wait for 50 minutes for 50 minutes before uh, the bus arrived in Mombasa. So in the next lesson, we'll also be looking at our further examples involving this particular topic. Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular uh, lesson. Uh, I do not take it for granted. In case you are new to the channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll get notified. Until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy. Thank you.